Okay, guys, so welcome back. Now we're going to start a completely different series uh, based on these questions to do with uh, which of the uh, statements strength or weaken the above argument. This is the main focus of um, these series of video, guys. So I hope everyone finds it useful. And it's really a follow-up, guys, from the conclusion because this and the conclusion topics goes hand in hand. So hopefully, guys, you can uh, find this of high yield and all of this is of use. And yes, let's get cracking on there, guys. So I'm at 2019 um, is the first paper of questions we're going to um, go over. So... For this one, guys, let's go through it together. Don't worry about um, trying to attempt it. We're just going to go through it together. And for the further ones, we'll do a similar thing as we've done for the conclusion. Pause the video, give yourself a minute, come back after a minute, and we're going to go with solution. But for now, let's just focus on and how we're going to uh, solve it. So the first thing, obviously, to do, guys, is first you have to establish that is a, a question which is asking for which of the uh, statements weaken or, uh, weaken or uh, strengthen the argument, which it is here, isn't it? Which of the following is true? Most, and this one's a weakened type, so which one weakens um, the above argument? And um, once you know that, guys, you should, it's a similar principle, so you should be having now your conclusion cap on as with the previous question, so you should be aiming to read the passage now in the attempt to find the conclusion. This says, uh, once again, it has become fashionable for householders um, to replace their carpets with wooden floors. So that's clearly just the observation, isn't it? Guys? This is more just a fact, so you can cross this all out. So it's going to cross this all out. And then it says, sales of laminate and solid floor such as oak have been, uh, ha have seen a massive increase in the last 10 years. So that's just stating fact, isn't it? So we can just cross this all out. So it's just all fact. It says, this trend seems more in tune with our eco-friendly aspirations. Uh, carpets are often plastic-based and use vast amounts of underlying material underlay made from uh, pe uh, pe uh, petrochemicals. Uh, so... Yeah, that could be his opinion, but either way, even if it is an opinion, guys, it's probably going to be super weak, right? So um, this we can even cross out as well. So crossing all that out. Then it says, for this reason, it seems unlikely that wooden floors will go out of fashion um, in the near future. That's clearly the strongest conclusion, isn't it, guys? So this is of the type, then, um, that in at the start, it's going to give all its reasons. Then at the end, it's going to be like, okay, because of all these reasons, as it says here, for this reason, it seems that wooden floors will, uh, will go out of fashion. Uh, it seems unlikely that wooden floors will go out of fashion in the near future, right? So now, okay, so now we, we know the conclusion. So the clue of this passage is that it's unlikely that wooden floors will go out of fashion in the near future. Now we need to find something which is going to weaken that statement. So now we're just going to um, read through the statement. So carpets can harbor um, uh, dust mites and allergens. So if carpets harbor dust mites and allergens, that would obviously mean that people would move towards uh, wooden, isn't it? So this would actually strengthen the argument. So this can't be the one. And so it's not all wooden floors... Uh, not all wooden floors need a layer of underlay. I think it talked about um, carpets are often plastic based uh, and use vast amounts of underlying material or underlay, right? So if not all wooden floors need underlay, that's going to mean that um, you're going to reduce the cost. So this actually would strengthen the uh, the argument for the use of wooden floors. So it can't be this one. Then it says uh, most types of laminate and wood floors use petrochemicals in their manufacture. Um, yeah, so this one's quite good, isn't it? Because obviously, if they use petrochemicals in their manufacture, um, that would obviously mean that you know it's not going to be environmentally friendly. So you can consider this one so far. And they go to the next one. Uh, wooden floors may look longer lasting, but can be more easily damaged um, than carpets. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, this one, since they can be more uh, easy, that, that would obviously mean that we shouldn't be going for them, is it? So you can also consider this one, right? And then uh, E says, cells of carpets made of synthetic uh, material have decreased in the last 10 years, while wooden well, while woolen carpets have seen an increase. So here, it, doesn't really, it only talks about carpet. It's not bringing this idea of wood, so it can't be this one. So it's either going to be then between C and D. So the next thing we need to do, um, the reasons it's giving here is mainly because it's more eco-friendly, isn't it? So which one ties in more of that theme? So hopefully, guys, you can uh, you can imagine them, and this one, C, would be the correct answer because this one talks about more about the idea that it's eco-friendly, whereas D just really just talks about it's user-friendly. But the the whole passage, the theme of it was that it won't go out of fashion because it's more eco-friendly. So which one ties in more of that um, is going to be um, C. So hopefully, guys, that made sense. And yes, from the next video, guys, you can start to attempt these questions, and we really look forward to seeing you then. So see you soon. All right, guys, so welcome back. So previously, we looked at this question to do with carpet and wood and how um, this idea of wooden is a good idea because it's more eco-friendly. But hopefully, guys, that has really given you a grounding of how to attempt these kind of questions. Really, it's just an extension of the conclusion type questions. You just have to spot the conclusion 
and then look at each of the arguments. Does it strengthen or weaken? And most of the time, you'll be left with one or two which are going to weaken it, and you're just picking the most appropriate one to do the general theme of the passage. But now, guys, we move on to IMAT 2018 and its series of questions. And that's, we're going to start with question eight. So now, guys, we're going to uh, allow you to start to attempt. So let's read it together as before. This an action has to be taken now to stop the spread of um, TB, bovine tuberculosis. Um, experts agree that reducing the number of badges in the most heavily infected area was helped to break the cycle of infection between badgers and cattle and begin to introduce TB in both species. Although badgers can be vaccinated, there is no vaccine available to protect our cattle and best estimates suggest it will be 10 years before one is available. The only way to stop bovine TB spreading is to kill badgers. And says, which of the following is true, if true, most strengthens? And this is, uh, now this is a strengthened question, guys. So similar principle, you're just looking for which one, which one strengthens it um, and the above argument. So guys, pause the video, give yourself just over a minute. Be back after that, we'll be going through the solution. Okay, guys, so let's go through this. So let's firstly find the conclusion. Remember, we know it's a strengthens question from this. Therefore, the first thing you need to do is find the conclusion. So it says, um, over here, it says, action has to be taken now to stop the spread of bovine TB. So that's clearly a strong opinion because he's forcing us to do something. So this is quite a strong opinion. And it says, experts agree that reducing the number of badgers in the most heavily infected will help break the cycle of infection between badgers and cattle and begin to reduce the TB in both species. Again, experts, research, this sort of idea, this is all likely just to be fact. So you can just cross this all out. So you can just cross this all out. Then it says, although badgers can be vaccinated, there is no vaccine available to protect our cattle. Um, and best estimates suggests it will be 10 years before one is available. Clearly, this is just all facts in it because using, uh, you know, stats and figures and just general observations. So this is all I just to be facts. So you can just cross this out. And then it says, the only way to stop bovine TB spreading is to kill badgers. Right. So, again, that's quite a strong one. This really ties in with the previous one. So we can kind of um, put this in as a, a strong opinion as well. So basically what he's trying to say here is that if you want, uh, we have to take action to stop the spread of um, bovine TB. And the only way to do that is to kill badgers. So which one's going to strengthen that? This says five annual vaccinations are necessary to protect a badger, uh, a badger fully uh, against bovine TB. Yeah, that is going to strengthen because five vaccinations is quite a lot, isn't it? So that's going to strengthen it. And that means if five annual vaccinations are easy, you might as well just kill them because that's quite a um, demand um, in terms of uh, money, etc. So this one's quite good so far. That one does strengthen it, but there might be one. It says which one most strengthens it. So that means that some of them, some other ones might also strengthen it, but which one most strengthens it? The next one, less than 10% of dairy cows destroyed each year. Um, so less than 10% of dairy cows destroyed each year are destroyed um, because of bovine TB. Um, yeah, so since he's, he's saying less than 10% are killed because of the bovine TB, so that that basically kind of highlights that it's not really too much of a problem, isn't it? Which is that would actually weaken um, the argument, so it can't be this one. Then it says in a trial killing 10,000 badges reduced the TB rate in cattle by only 15%. Um, so that clearly uh, weakens the argument. That says, and that, that's the key word, isn't it? Only. That's trying to say it's not really that much. So if you kill it, you're, you're not really going to have that much benefit. So it can't be this one. It says shooting large numbers is more expensive um, than vaccinating them. So if, if, if the killing is more expensive, um, that would actually weaken the argument, isn't it? So it can't be this one. And then it says when efforts are made to remove badges, many are injured rather than killed outright. Right. So that just shows that the killing in itself, the method of killing isn't really effective. That's, again, going to really weaken the argument. So hopefully, guys, you can um, appreciate that in this one, that A would be the correct answer. So hopefully, guys, that has made sense. And yes, as always, we really look forward to seeing you in the next video. All right, guys, so welcome back. So previously, you looked at this question to do with TV and how um, killing badges was the only way um, to stop the spread of TV. And this was a strengthened question, was, is in contrast to the weakest question. But hopefully, guys, you can appreciate uh, they are really just the same thing, but just opposite, essentially. So hopefully that has made sense, guys. And now we're going to move on to the next question, which is uh, question 16. So again, we'll read it together. It says, a leaking undersea oil well in the USA caused massive damage to wildlife and was extremely expensive to clear up. Worst of all, um, it destroyed the... Uh, livelihoods of poor people living in the area. Despite this, in the developed world, we still don't take seriously the risk of uh, deep water drilling. Until we can be satisfied that regulation is effective and that all companies are operating safely, deep water, deep water drilling should be banned. And which of the following, if true, most weakens the above argument? So guys, pause the video, give yourself an, oh, just over a minute, be sure to be back after that. We'll be going through the solution. Okay, guys, so we know this is a, a weakens question, so that means the first thing we need to do is find the conclusion, isn't it? So let's read this. A, leak, uh, a leaking undersea oil in the USA caused massive damage to wildlife was extremely expensive to clear up. So this is just observation. This is just all fact, isn't it? So you can just cross this all out. 
Then it says, worse of we destroyed the livelihoods of poor people living in the area. Uh, again, this is just observation, so this is all fact. And then it says, despite this in the developer, we still, we still don't take seriously the risk of deep water drilling. Uh, and then, so clearly that's just observation, just stating the opinions of others. Remember, when you're stating the opinions of others, that's kind of like a fact. When you're sitting, when the author is stating his own opinion, that's like an official opinion. Um, so this we can cross out. And this, until we can be satisfied that the regulation is effective and that all companies are operating safely, deep water drilling should be banned. So hopefully, guys, by this point, by all this extensive practice, you can appreciate this is a really strong conclusion because it's saying deep water drilling should be banned. Right? It's a really uh, demanding thing. So so essentially, the conclusion here is that deep water drilling should be banned. Um, and we need to find out which one weakens it. So which one would suggest that deep water drilling shouldn't be banned? This is the risk of deep water drilling were known prior to the accident. Um, so this is, is the risk of deep water drilling were known prior to the accident um, in, in in the USA. So that doesn't really that doesn't really it's not really relevant to tell me that deep water drilling shouldn't be banned. So this is kind of irrelevant um, in this question. So we can cross this out. It says all companies involved in the accident in the USA paid money to compensate the victims. Um, so that would actually uh, strengthen the argument, isn't it? Because uh, sorry, that would actually, yes, actually, I agree. That would weaken the argument uh, because it, it, it would suggest that it shouldn't be banned because although accidents are happening, people are still being compensated. So you can consider this one so far. But remember, the question is which one most weakens it. So that might weaken it. There might be one that weakens it even more. This is a ban on dream pool degenerate would cause oil prices to rise, which would affect poor people most, right? Uh, yeah, so again, that does um, that does also weaken the argument, isn't it? Because um, if you stop deep water drilling, it's going to affect poor people the most, meaning deep water drilling shouldn't be banned because it's going to have more of an impact on poor people. So this one we should also consider. And then it says, um, all companies will operate more safely in the future than they did before the accident um, in the USA. Okay, so even if they do operate more safely, right, that doesn't really mean you're removing the problem isn't it so that's this is quite irrelevant so it can't be this one and this alternative for us we may eventually be able to meet our energy needs um that one actually uh strengthens it, isn't it that one should say that it actually should be banned because there's alternatives available so now we're just left with two which one's gonna now we need to find out which one weakens it more so it says all companies involved in the acts in the usa paid money to compensate because the reason i don't like that one actually guys is because um even if they compensated you can't say for sure if um, if this happens again, other companies might do the same thing. This is just an example of this company doing it. This is why I don't like this one. This is why I like C more. Uh, ban on Jeep would cause oil prices to rise, but that's um, that's that's more uh, that's I find uh, weakens the argument more uh, compared to B, and hopefully you, you can appreciate that. So this is why, guys, I'm going to choose uh, C as the correct answer here. So hopefully, guys, that has made sense. And as always, we really look forward to seeing you back in the next clip. Okay, guys, so previously we were looking at this question, question 16, to do with uh, deep water drilling and why it should be banned. But hopefully, guys, um, that has made sense. And hopefully, guys, you're starting to appreciate that um, the conclusion in these kind of questions, since the main aim of the question is not to find the conclusion, is actually to find uh, which one weakens or strengthens. But the idea is that you have to find the conclusion first in order to do that. Hopefully, guys, you can appreciate then that um, the finding the conclusion in these questions are a bit easier than some of the what are the conclusion questions we looked at before. But now, guys, we're going to move on to IMAT 2017 and its series of questions. So um, let's read it together, guys. This is next week, the European Parliament will vote on whether to ban travelling, a method of uh, trawling, sorry, a method of fishing that involves pulling large fish nets uh, behind boats. The fishing industry is opposed to a ban and has argued strongly against it. Trawling is not as damaging to ecosystem as environmentalists claim. Trawling uh, the seabed doesn't always create dead zones in the ocean. It can boost fish numbers since the species that are more resistant to the effects of trawling can proliferate. So trawling on flat, sandy beds in shallow areas can benefit marine life and which of the following if true most weakens um, in this case the above argument so guys pause the video just give yourself over a minute and be back after that we'll be going through the solution okay guys so you see this question we know it's a weakens question so we need to find the uh, conclusion this next week the european parliament will on whether uh, to ban a method of fishing that involves pulling large fish net, uh, nets behind boats so this is just observation of what's going to happen isn't it so this is just all fact we can just cross this all out so cross, 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 cross. And it says the fishing industry opposed to a ban and has uh, argued strongly against it, right? So clearly, guys, um, that's, uh, that's a fact. It's just stating observation of um, what the fishing industry think. So we can cross this all out. Uh, and it says trawling is not as damaging to ecosystem as environmentalists claim. So that's clearly his opinion, isn't it? So, so far, this is going to be the strongest opinion. It says trawling the seabed doesn't always create dead zone in the ocean. 
So that's just uh, reasons he's given, but it kind of ties in with the previous one. We, we can just cross this out anyway, because uh, it's just reasons um, and, and up to there. So it says it can boost uh, numbers since species that are more resistant to the effects of children can, pro can proliferate. All right. Again, this is just reasoning. It is probably his opinion, but it's linked to um, this part we already uh, highlighted. So this we can just um, cross out. And then it says, so trawling on flat seabed, inshallah, can benefit marine life, right? So that's clearly his opinion. Um, and that really just links in with the previous one. But we can just put this in brackets anyway. So he's basically trying to say uh, there's a heavy pressure to ban uh, trawling, but in fact, it's not really about such a bad thing. So which one weakens is going to, the one which is essentially going to suggest that trawling is a bad thing. Uh, so it says, trawling creates habitats by making parts of the sea more habitable. So that one actually strengthens the argument is it? because it, it, it's for trawling. So it can't be this one. It says trawling deep is expensive and uh, ineffective use of fishing resources. Right. So this one, uh, if if trawling is a, a, is expensive, um, that actually strengthens the argument, isn't it? Because that obviously. Um, sorry, actually, let's go back to it. So trawling creates new habitats by making parts of the sea more habitable. So that one suggests that one is for trawling which is essentially, um, yeah, that one, sorry, that one is for trawling, which is with what the author is saying in it, because the author is essentially saying, if I just write here, he's he's saying trawling is good, right? So we need to find the one that's, which suggests trawling is bad. So that, um, it can't be that one. Uh, trawling is expensive and an ineffective use of, yeah, so that one suggests trawling is bad, isn't it? So you can consider this one uh, so far. Trawling in shallow waters can damage the bottom of, uh, fishermen's boats so that suggests trawling is bad isn't it as well so you can also i guess consider that one right and the next one trawling shallow waters can alter the e e ecology in beneficial ways so that one is actually with what the author is saying so that actually strengthens the argument so it can't be this one and the trawling nets have a destructive impact on many endangered species right so um yeah so that one's against um against the proposition that trawling is a good thing so this one we also have to consider now it's w w w which is the strongest one so we have to go back to the context so here he's saying that trawling is a good thing because it can benefit marine life so we need to um look at the option which is more to do with marine life right so b um is really talking about resources it's not really talking about marine life so that's why i don't like this one C is really talking about the effects on people and their boats. So it can't be this one. This is why I like E best because, yes, it weakens the argument, as uh, as does B and C, but it weakens the argument in a way which is in the context of what he's trying to say because he's trying to say trawling is good because it benefits marine life. And this is saying the exact contradiction. So trawling is bad because it actually in, it affects marine life in that um, it has an impact of many endangered species. So hopefully, guys, um, this kind of question has made sense. It's a bit of a... Um, funny thing with your brain is it because you want to so especially with these weakest ones he's saying it's trolling is good but you want to find something where trolling is bad so you always have this kind of kind of concept uh, in your head but hopefully guys that has made sense and yes we really look forward to seeing you uh, in the next video